Ooh. Yeah, we're rusty. We're in Orlando. Me and Nasa are headed to the dentist to get our teeth looked at and mine fixed. And we just hit a really cool milestone in Spicy. Um, we're doing an oil change later today when we get home and also installing a guard for the catalytic converter. But on our way to the dentist, I just switched from trip mode over to the odometer and look what we hit. 200,000, 200, 200, 200. All right, well, I'm back from the dentist. No surprises with my teeth. I knew they were not great, but they, they told me that nothing has ar arisen since last time. I had them checked, so I have to get my wisdom teeth removed and a cavity filled and then we'll reassess. But, um, and Nasa's teeth are perfectly fine. And the next thing I'm gonna be doing is installing our catalytic converter guard on Spicy here so that no one can steal the catalytic converter in the swoop of a minute while we run into a store. Still gonna be cautious with where we park Spicy, but it'll deter theft um, to a great degree. It's not impossible to get it off, but it's a lot harder and most people will just pass it up. So that's what I'm doing now. Let's hope there's no surprises with this either. And though I am anticipating potentially a lot of seized bolts, um, but, you know, I have some WD-40, I'm prepared for it. Hopefully it doesn't happen. If it does, we'll see when it, when that happens. So anyways, let's get this guard up. Ooh, driving around the Americas. Ooh, so if you're following along and you can't get enough. Ooh, we're driving you around the Americas. Alright, like so I got this cover from a company called Aerogenics, and this is how you spell the name A E R O G E N I C S, Aerogenics. Here's my um, instructions, and got the tools I need. Now it's time to try the first bolt, see if it sees. Oh, please don't be seized. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, we're rusty. That's not looking good. So if you watched my CV axle video, you're well acquainted with the hero tool. It's time to get that out. We're super rusty down there. Hero tool. Link in the description below. Actually, everything that I use in this video is linked in the description below. Um, I put all my links to all the tools I use down there. If you buy it through that link, if you have any need for those tools or those supplies, it helps out the channel. So check those out below. Uh, really? Oh, that's stuck. So I'm currently getting inspiration from YouTube mechanics, um, offering advice on there as to how to get rid of this bolt. It is badly stripped on the head. The hero tool did not help. It probably made it worse. Um, I only tapped it a couple times, but I think it probably helped in stripping it a little more. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is try to fit a smaller socket well, I don't have a smaller socket, so I'm gonna to try to get back on the 10 millimeter socket, make sure it is on there right. I'm gonna hammer it in, and then I'm gonna to try to just use the ratchet until it comes off. If it doesn't, there is a twist socket thing that this guy was using. I'd have to go get one, so I hope I don't have to do that. Well, really, this is not gonna work. It's stripped. I need a smaller socket or a twist socket. All right, so what I learned from YouTube is that there's such thing as this. These spiral sockets that grip rusted, rounded off, or painted over bolts. And ours is rounded off. So I went and got some of these. Um, I'm going to be using the 10 millimeter. If that doesn't work, I'm going to chisel some off and use the 8 millimeter. And hopefully this can get it off. And that is the rounded off bolt that we're working with. 
Let's get at it with this spiral socket. All right, so I ended up running out of time for today to install the cat guard. So I ended up using the time that I did have today to change the oil. Almost done with that. It was pretty difficult because of the position of the oil filter on the element, but I ended up getting it out. And um, right now I'm just waiting for, it started to rain. So I'm waiting for the rain to stop so I can fill up the oil. I don't want any water in that oil. So I'm waiting for the rain to stop and it's dark outside. They're spicy, but I have a flashlight and um, gonna refill the oil, get the passenger side wheel back on because that had to come off to reach the oil filter and then put spicy down and we have somewhere to go tomorrow. We have to fulfill Nasa's passport obligations. Um, we have to renew her passport so that we can leave the country again. But it's just been thing after thing with this rust situation with Spicy. Um, I was nervous getting a car from up there. It looks not that rusty. The, most of the underbody is fine, but these bolts, these little nuts and little bolts all over the place, they're not fine. And um, it's proving to be really difficult. It's a little bit upsetting, but I'm sticking with Spicy. He's our buddy. He's our guardian for this trip and I'm working with him to try to keep us safe. So yeah, it's a little bit upsetting, but we're gonna work through it and we're gonna get going. We had a productive pit stop here in Orlando at my dad's house. I ended up doing quite a few things for Spicy that will get us ready for our trip from here to Colorado. Um, first off, we I changed the oil that needed to be done. It turns out the oil, the old oil that was in it was super sludgy and just disgusting. Um, probably hasn't been changed in about a year. We just bought the car two to three months ago and haven't driven it more than 100 miles before coming down to Florida. Um, but it looks like, and they didn't drive it that much either because they bought a different element and stopped driving spicy before they sold it. But, so that oil probably sat for about a year, not many miles, but a lot of time, and it was disgusting. Um, so we, we put in some new oil, I did that. I topped up the transmission fluid because when we were refilling it after the CV axle job, that transmission fluid leaked a little bit out of the bottle that I was um, filling the transmission from. So the full two quarts from those bottles didn't get in there and it's supposed to. So we bought one more quart. I topped it up an extra 0.2 quarts um, just to make sure the transmission is nice and lubricated. I also rotated this back tire to the front, front to the back, because on the other side, the grip is on opposite. So basically we had the grippiest tires were on the front right and back left. The grip the tires with less grip were on the front left, front left, back right. So I switched this side so that we could have the grippiest tires in the front. Now these two are the grippiest. These two are the least grippy because that's what you want with your car. Um, the front is does more of the braking and more of the accelerating, and especially in a car that is heavily front wheel drive. Even though even though this is an all wheel drive car, more of the accelerating is done in the front especially in this Honda real-time all-wheel drive, most of the accelerating is done in the front. So I wanted to get those the grip up there. Um, and then what we're doing right now is putting reflectics on the inside of the windows so that we have the sun is kept out and also people can't see in while we're sleeping. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit while I do that. And yeah, it was a productive pit stop. So this, is that Reflectix material. It is literally popped bubble wrap covered in a reflective material um, on both sides. And this we just, we measured the inside of the windows and cut it out to, to fit them. I still have to do the front window and the sunroof up here. Um, and then we are, Anila is stitching a uh, fabric on the outside, a gray fabric on the outside. And then we have a nice little fabric on the inside, a little design that can kind of make it feel homey, especially for NASA as the kids' design. 
So this is what we have going on in here. Uh, we are, this is our outside, inside pattern. And then that is the outside pattern. And we're gonna be Velcroing this side to the inside of the car. And then we will see this. And what we're doing is actually taping. Well, I stitched this one. We stitched the first two, the inside pattern and the outside pattern. Then we realized we can just tape the inside pattern and then stitch the outside pattern around it. <clears throat> so yeah, this is what we, we got going on. Master craftsman, master craftswoman, Anila idea. And now all we have left to do before leaving tomorrow after Anila finishes work is finish packing. Um, we're gonna pack up spicy, try to make sure that we can have enough stuff so that we have everything we need, but also not too much so that we can arrange the bed if we have to sleep in there. Though we do have the tent and we can usually set up the tent and we'll be camping in places where we can set up the tent. But just in case, it would be nice to be able to set up the bed in the car with everything still in it. So all that's left is to pack and then we have the cat guard. That was a failed installation while we're here. So I'm gonna be ordering a couple tools I need for it and then finishing that once we get to Colorado. Um, we also did laundry, we had some nice meals, got to hang out with family and some friends. Um, yeah, and then I also filled up this giant water bottle, 20 gallon, no, sorry, five, tw five gallon, 20 liter jug. Um, filled this up, it's super heavy. It's like, I think when it's full, it said it's about how much, 40 pounds or something like that? It feels about 45 pounds. So we got that filled up, everything's ready and we're about to leave heading to Tampa and then off to Colorado. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron J. Kaplan. My family and I are headed on a long, long road trip around the United States and then up to Alaska and down to South America. If you're interested in that kind of content, we'll be vlogging the whole time. Make sure to hit subscribe below and then turn on notifications so you're aware of future uploads. Yeah, so we're ready for this trip. We're super excited and we've been waiting and preparing for this for a while. So now's the time. Can't wait and come along with us. And we're off! That's usually what you say? I don't know if I've ever heard you say that before, Nixon. Uh -huh. Every time I use my camera, each what? time, each time I use a video on my camera, I say, and we're off! Okay, well then you say it.